This morning in our early coffee segment, we celebrate some of the most treasured photos of Life magazine since 1936. Life's cameras have recorded just about every major news event. They've also chronicled the lives of countless politicians and Hollywood stars. And now Life is celebrating with a new book, Life 75 Years, The Very Best of Life. And joining us now with a look inside is Robert Sullivan, the managing editor of Life Books. Great to have you with us, Bob. Good morning. Nice to be with you. So the 75 years, I mean, you have created and built these iconic pictures uh, throughout American history. What do you think it is about the pictures in life that have really brought to life so much of our history? I think it's really about the photographers. Um, you know, it, 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 75 years ago, Henry Luce put together this uh, gang of four, actually, at the beginning, uh, Eisenstadt, Bork, White among them, mm -hmm. uh, who were just the best photojournalists in the country. And it built on that. It was the right time for a photo magazine. It was the right time for a journal to be able to tell the truth in pictures about what was going on in the world around us. Then World War II happened. Mm. Uh, Luce uh, said uh, later, it wasn't intended that life was going to be a war magazine, but that's what happened. Um, that story could be told in pictures in a way that nobody had ever seen before. Mm -hmm. um, and life really built its legacy uh, then and it came out of World War II. Uh, basically the strongest yeah. magazine in the world. I mean, it was called the Great American Magazine right. uh, for very good reason. Um, Speaking of those pictures, mm -hmm. Sophia Loren, very controversial racy photo. It ran on the cover of the magazine. 1966, I think, was the year. Right. But there were other pictures as well, unpublished. This is the one that ran on the cover. And uh, I think a, life got a lot of kickback from that, too. We did. Uh, we brought along, uh, you know, some photographs for your viewers that, that haven't been seen before. The off images of Loren. Um, the, the, that was taken by Alfred Eisenstadt, one of the original four. He was a great friend of Sophia's. She mm. would do anything for Alfred, and uh, as, as, as is evidenced here. You can imagine when that cover hit the, uh, you know, the table in the dentist office. I mean, the, the letters just poured in. Uh, or, or on Grandma's Ottoman and sure. little Johnny's going by and sees this thing. I mean, it was just, uh, you know, um, but, but we've had a lot of covers. We've yeah. had a lot of stories where the letters poured in. Gary Cooper is another one. Brute force kind of guy, but then you get this other behind the scenes look an, at who he is with his daughter. An entirely different set of pictures from the Loren ones. I mean, Loren was a, uh, was a, a friend of Eisenstadt's. Peter Stackpole went out and shot Gary Cooper and his family um, on a ski vacation in Aspen uh, years ago. Maria Cooper Janis um, now remains a great friend of, of life. Mm -hmm. She comes by the office. Um, you know, uh, Coop was, uh, and this kind of access uh, is what you really don't get a lot of today. It's true. You know, you go on the, the stars go on vacation today. They don't ask a magazine along, you know. But Cooper sometimes did. they might. But this but, is cool. I want to see the Picasso picture because I did a project on Picasso in fifth grade. I've always been obsessed with him, and you took something that no one's ever seen before. Everyone sees the Minotaur um, picture. Hmm. Uh, what's not known is when uh, Jean Mealy was was shooting Picasso at that um, pottery works in, in Europe, um, he drew a lot of things. I mean, you know, Picasso, you know, he just drew. Yeah. And um, so with the pen light, he, he made a lot of different uh, Interesting. Uh, shapes and, uh, and animals, and he did it in a second, uh, genius that he was. Um, and a lot of these haven't been seen before. Hmm. Um, every, in, in the book, of course, we run the Minotaur. Yep. Um, but there are all these others, and they're, and they're equally beautiful. Very iconic photo, the kiss, Eisenstadt's work. And then there's the kiss that people haven't seen. Yeah, there, there are the off images. I mean, it's often uh, rumored that the kiss is such a perfect photograph in Times Square or VJ Day um, was set up. Hmm. Because it is so perfect, mm -hmm. it's so perfectly composed. But the the near frames show that it was spontaneous. Hmm. You know that it was just he was chasing this Randy sailor. You know who was a very excitable boy, and um, and he happens. got the one great image, and the other images are really good, but not yeah. perfect. A real life moment. Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us, Bob. We really appreciate it. It's been fine, Robert Thanks. Sullivan. And by the way, you can get the book now.